whole bunch of stuff that we eat that, yeah, they may have, have indigenous influences. And it's, I'm proud to say that they do, right? But they also have these European influences. And we, we shouldn't demonize the one and, and over-romanticize the other. Right? We just have so much simplification that nobody's even willing to dive into the history. And so it's been completely lost. Like I would think we have to look at how many Hispanic Americans we have in this country, in the United States. You would think they'll, they'll be ready for this kind of talk or they'd be ready for all this. But I think it's good that it starts somewhere and that part of some of the history that's been told to us, it's not by accident, right? That we're, we're told to despreciar one side and not the other, right? And that Spanish language that we have, big strength. It's a unity of about 500 million people in the world. I mean, and in the United States, we have about 60 million people Spanish speaking. So out of 300 plus million. So, I mean, that's a pretty strong advantage. I mean, it's not by accident that Hispanic America is divided into 20 different mm -hmm. countries, but Canada and Brazil are not because historically they've had more of the fear of Spanish speakers.